Hello YouTubes! This is Channel A1 here, bringing you another all random all mid X cast with X Incorporated. Today we've got an interesting matchup. Two AP mids. This could be a very interesting considering both are well designed to be AP in the mid. As well I just said. So, before we start the game, let's go over this here. We have spawning purple, Arctorius, a new ch new player that we haven't yet seen, but whom I have played with extensively. Spawning in purple as Annie in the summer spells Flash and Ignite. While spawning in blue, it's the ever loving champion so far, Hammer781227. Spawning blue as Viger with the summoner spells Heal and Clarity. So, I don't know if there's any gonna be there's gonna be any real difference here. But these both players are very good with the champions they have, even though this is an all random all mid. So, why don't we begin the game and start off the game? That might be redundant, but I really don't care. I'm a bit crazy. So, here we go, and play the game! Starting off, looks like well, Viger almost went off. Nope, he's taking boots and three pots. Rather standard build. While Annie. Annie, what are you doing, little girl? Absolutely nothing as of so far. Oh, Doran's ring. So Viger's gonna be the first one in the position. Yeah. What's black and blue? Definition. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Wow, I didn't hear that whole joke there, Viger. What's black and blue and is about to show you the definition of pain? Well, thank you. <laughs> It's almost, it's almost as if he knew what I asked. <laughs> Being on a three minute delay, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> that's right, yuck it up laughing boy. One minute. And right now Viker's just taunting Annie. Oh, Hammer likes doing that to Ardorus. Yes, yes, yes. Both waiting the last few seconds for the minions to start spawning so they can get going. What the difference is here? Viger has uh, currently 5 AP versus Annie who has 21. Early advantage going to Annie right minions now, though Viger's gonna have better sustain with the health potions. What's black and blue and is about to show you the definition of pain? Don't you have any other jokes? But anyway. Minion waves are incoming. And thus, let the battle actually commence! What a boring this first bit. Landing it to disintegrate upon Viger early. That's not gonna do him any favors. A little early poke damage, but. Yeah. But Viger is last hitting while Annie is harassing. Could go either way, I suppose. I mean, Annie needs to get those last hits in the farms. But if she's just going to passively take it while forcing Viger to use his health pots, that might be a thing, but Viger is also beginning to slowly gen up that ability power of his through Baleful Strike. Meanwhile, Annie could easily go Oom. Um, of doing that, though she might have just been building up her stun. Or was that based on her auto attacks? I don't know. Pop, pop it up. Four spell casts, alright. So she was just building up her stun there, I guess. As they both do. Annie takes Flame Shield next, while Viger takes Event Horizon with his stun. Oh, and there's a third point for another point in Baleful Strike. shot from Annie's Disintegrate. Here's level up. Another health pot used by Hammer. And a second point in Disintegrate. Why do I go for the point spreads? I don't really know. I'm a color commentator, not one that deals with exact stats. 
failed stun the Vent Horizon, but Annie certainly doesn't fail her stun. Flashes in with an aggressive and uses Ignite as well. A flame shield is apparently not a shield. What is that? That's uh, increasing your armor magic resist. Okay, and does damage to basically the twisk attack or something. It's basically just built on thorn mail with a little bit of magic resist thrown in for good measure. Another failed stun. I'm actually kind of surprised. Annie's usually a better. Whoa! Nice miss! Nice, oh, nice dodge, anyways. Put the magma shield up for that added magic resist, but it's th th at this point, it's not going to save her if he decides to actually hit her. Well, Viger is just farming away, farming away. What's his current 15 ability power? He's got... It's a little ways away, but he's got plenty of time to get there. Time is on Viger's side, because he can just... As he'll just get stronger as the game goes on. There he goes again. Annie, on the other hand, needs to build her items. And get a lot of AP, some cooldowns. Oh, there's a stun! Couple of basic attacks. And he's pushing Annie away. Right now, Annie. Oh, nice shot with the disintegrate. But he really should she really should be doing that to last hit. He'll refund the spell cost. Oh, first blood with a baleful strike. Hammer take hammer and fighter take that extra ability power. Which extra ability power? Uh kills a champion. Okay, from any source of damage. Wow, okay. So right now, Viger is, well, winning. Because we got more last hits, more ability power, right? 30 on the executed. Well, just got didn't get out of range of the tower fast enough, but now Hammer can buy some new stuff. Oh yes, Hammer can buy some stuff now. What's he gonna buy, though? I don't know. He's got... 1,200 gold. He's got enough for something. Two Doran's rings! Yep. That'll do ya. Viger! 57! With an extra 10 mana gen per 5. And an extra 160 health. This could be interesting. And he has his ultimate. Not a good thing. Even Magma Shield is going to be able to stop that, but now Annie has Tibbers. That's right, we're going to be seeing Stunbar. Yes. Ouch! Big, uh, what, what is that? Dark Matter? Yes, Dark Matter. Again, poking with Disintegrate. But she's got stun. She can also stunning with Disintegrate and summoning Timbers right on top of him. That's, there you go. That's a revenge kill. And he now has the run of the lane. And is going to push this tower where all her Timbers is worth. Might not be a lot of damage done, but Hammer's going to be down from the 10 seconds, still is so, oh, Hammer gets the Amplifying Tome, which... Where is he gonna go with that? I don't know, he could, pretty much, could be built into any number of items. And he's just continuing to shoot this tower. Oh, last hit will disintegrate. A few more shots before eventually retreating out of tower range. Hammer just going to well, waddle his way up into lane again. Well, it looks like uh, bot lane is being, well, both lanes actually are being a little bit dominated by blue at the moment. Not that any team inside can do any bit thing about that at all. Dark matter. At the same time, it really makes a lot of changes in the game with the extra 154 talent. There goes a few more shots. That bot tower is not looking nice. Manny knows not to step into that area of effect. So she avoids the stun. My 
Jaeger is just continuing to go strong. He's at 87 ability power. How much ability power has he gotten from this? Uh, 22. Not bad so far. Annie! Still having a little trouble. Well, not really having a lot of trouble with farm. She's got one less CS than uh, Viger does. The auxiliary, auxiliary lanes, auxiliary lanes, have evened out a little bit. Probably favoring more purple this point. Oh, there's one of those fires ultimate. And there's the timbers. What was that, stun bar? Oh, and they both kill each other at the exact same instant. Well, that was definitely an interesting play right there. They both go for magic pet and boots. And, uh... Well, right now only Annie has the money for anything else. They both pop at the exact same time, so we're just gonna sit here, waiting with these minions. Annie... Looks like Annie died just a split second before Viger did. She popped up a split second before Viger did. Anyway, Viger now has 95 ability power with that 20% magic penetration. Which is, let me just round that up. He's now going to be able to be doing about 120 damage. 120 extra damage on top of his ability damage. Base damage of his abilities. Does that make sense anymore? I don't know. I don't know this game particularly. I don't know this game inside and out. I just like talking over it and making myself look like a fool. Guess what? I'm succeeding! Stun Flame Thrummer! Yes! Ooh, disintegrate! And he really should last hit more with that disintegrate, as opposed to just harassing Viger. Yeah, she's doing substantial damage. She doesn't have as much ability power as Viger does by any stretch. She gets stunned, takes another Baleful Strike, doesn't earn any ability power for that one because it wasn't kill. There was one. There's Timbers! Is, what, is Timbers just going to snow? No, Hammer's getting away. Timbers! Well, you did your job. Oh! He's done the boom, man! That's Hammer killing him with a baleful strike. And the friend will boost his ultimate. What does that do again? 250 plus 131 and 80% of the target's ability power. Yep. And I'm also willing to bet that ignores magic, man. And magic resist. In fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm just being an idiot now. But then again, who am I ever not? Really? There goes the first tower. This gives a hammer a much more distinct advantage in the in the income. As we can already have a, a 1.2k lead to begin with. Now has about 50% more minions than Ham than Annie does. Ouch! It's under, yeah, it's under 150 health left. There it is! Viker misses his stun and loses his life to disintegrate. Which actually was a very nice last hit, by the way. So she and he's just gonna sit. Uh, work her way forwards and farm while Viger uses gets a Cage's Lucky Pick. Hmm. I'd imagine Morello's even tone would work, but the gold per five, the gold per ten isn't a bad benefit either. How do I turn? No. How do I? How do I minimize this? There we go. Well, that's the button. Tab. Not. Just a terrible diet coke beverage of the most 50s, the 80s. It's probably the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Tiburus is back up. Primordial Burst is back up. And he gets hit by that! 
Defense Horizon and Baleful Strike. Garnering. Oh! Garnering Viger. A little bit more, well, actually, a lot of bit more ability power. What's he got from it? So far, 52 ability power from that stuff. And that's nothing to sneeze at. That's more than most items get. And frankly, I think he's going for a Rabidons. On any of these AP mids, you'd be stupid not to put a Rabidons on. Here's Annie again. Both champions are now in full health. Only Annie still has Tibbers. Matt. Viger. Viger has to wait for Primordial Burst to come down. But he still has a substantial lead in his stuff. Yep, about 18 in CS. And just about and more than twice the infinity power. Oh, stands right in, looks right into the stun. But Viger is oom right now. He can't do anything. Spoke too soon. Again, he has cleanse. I keep forgetting that. Basic attack from Annie. Just poke, poke, poke. Oh, no! Viger barely pulls out the kill while not dying himself. Just barely to 50 health. Since he can't go back and heal or get pots, he's gonna have to stay in line and just wait for him to snipe him when she gets back. Spell vamp wouldn't do him any damage, I suppose. Up to the next tower, Viger. Keep poking him with your magic balls of doom. And not be so much doom. Oh, oh, there it goes. No, it might not be magic balls of doom. Primordial bursts is magic ball of doom. And baleful strike. Wait, am I getting that? Am I getting those confused? No, I'm not. I, for a moment, I thought. Oh yeah, it's vampire acceptor. No. What's that say? What's that similar? What's that life steal ability of Nasus? Ah, like everything matters to me, I suppose. That's another hit of a ah, Yes! And he takes Viger with a last hit of Disintegrate. Viger still leads by one kill, two turrets, and 1.2k gold. Oh, wait. He, Viger went Deathfire Grasp. That's interesting. Hmm, Megatron Cloak and a Blasting Wand for Annie. Don't remember when she, she probably got that last time she died. Are you trying to remember what she builds that into? What is that's not a Lich Bane. Something else that I build? Oh what? I don't I I don't know what it is. What is Annie doing? Poking away. And he wants to just go back and buy something. That makes sense. Give yourself up to the turret. Why don't I ever think about that when I play all night and all night with these guys? So I'm gonna have these guys record one of me playing, and I'm not just gonna be the only one talking back here. But she gave up a life. Well, it should, could be a form of life and energy management. Oh wait, she got the abyssal scepter. There you go. Reduced magic resist, more ability power, more magic resist. That is good. That is quite good. And Annie's back up. Yep. There she is. Just burning a couple of spells to get her stun up. Not wanting to leave of her base, so she can still go back for infinite health. Viger playing it safe. There's a clarity. Oh! Good amount of damage done there. Your good three quarters of her damage, of her health gone in one burst. That was quite spectacular. I really should be surprised. Oh! Oh! Just barely surviving a Again, hammer. A summoner has disconnected. Really? That—that's a. 
if that's it. That was a thing. Artorus, what are you? What is wrong with you? Yes, you were going to lose this game, but at least lose with some dignity, man. Of course, I could just because I probably wasn't a rage quit. It's probably a disconnect. But as we stare now upon their corpses, let us realize how much they mean the League of Legends. A tiny girl who. Uh, it's just a, well, a tiny girl. And the little master and the tiny master of Edo. Yes. One who's going to stand still for a long time. The other who's going to waddle back into lane, probably, or just. I don't know what he's going to do, really. But Annie's. Annie's disconnected for the time being, so we'll focus on Viger. Why? I don't know. But it's 20 seconds until the surrender can be made. If this was just a disconnect on Arcturus's part, that's forgivable. Rage quit, understandable. But we'll see what happens. Viger taking a few minions. There's the 20 minute surrender mark. But I don't think he's going to surrender. I think he's just going to finish the game. I think, well, Annie can't surrender. She's not in the game, technically. Viger probably doesn't want to surrender. Cause he's not, well, well, it reflects better upon his ELO if he doesn't. No, I'm, no wait, these custom games don't do anything to ELO. So what am I saying? I don't know. But he has a needlessly large rod to boot. Annie's just gonna stand there while her turret is just going to be destroyed. When did the top lane take Blue's first turret? Hmm. I suppose it doesn't matter. Because this turret is dead. And now Seems to Service is inhibitor. Oh, there goes top lane and her first turret. turret has been destroyed. And bot lane! As if it wasn't already clear who had the advantage. Right now, Viger has even more an advantage. With half of the inhibitor's health gone, it's definitely easier when you random the uh, AD carry of some variety. Or if you can just keep your minions alive for an extended period of time. Annie is just Her standing there looking at timbers. Annie, that's not gonna help you any at all. You just lost another... Then you just lost an inhibitor. Two auxiliary turrets. And there's a biomass of minions encroaching upon your second wave. What are you going to do? I'm gonna stand here like a disconnected little girl. Well, okay, that'll work, I suppose. But, yes. Anyway, Viger is now just going to uh, kill these tower. No, he's gonna get hit by two tower shots for minimal damage. Oh, here comes a minion wave. He's gonna move around, use heal. I'm gonna stand here like a little Purple girl. Timbers, why did destroyed. not do anything? I think Timbers has done a lot of stuff, Fanny. <laughs> Viger! I'm the Viger! I'm the Time Master of Evil! Fear me! Yeah, Viger, you're voiced by Cartman. That's not a nothing like Cartman. And you're nothing. You, you, you're not scary in the least. Purple team's turret has yeah, been Yeah, you're not scary at least! This is getting ridiculous. Anyway, there goes the last tower turret. The tower turret? Nexus turret. Viger is now going to just kill off his minion waves before focusing upon the inhibitor. Which one? Nexus! The top lane is about to lose its tower and inhibitor. But no, the Nexus is going to going to go down first. He's got two super minions, a few a bit of a wave there, and he's doing damage himself. Not a lot of damage, mind you. This is an AP mid, not a carry. Purple team's turret has been destroyed. Yep, there goes top ne inhibitor turret, Nexus turret. I'm getting these two so confused. Viger, how many? You got an extra 100 AP, and that's the game. Viger. Disconnects. That wasn't a way you want to win a game, Victory. really. But, I mean, but 
A win is a win even if it isn't earned. But what the hey? Hammer maintains his top dog status. At any point, that has been a, that was a relatively good game until Andy disconnected anyway. He, I have run out of things to say, and so this has been Xcast from X Incorporated with Hammer781227, Arctorius, and myself, Chun Lei Wan. And like I said before, this is X Incorporated.